Good day, my IQ shakers and movers. How y'all doing out there? I hope that you're doing well. I am well. I am grateful for this day. And if you had the opportunity to have your feet above dirt, then you should be grateful as well. Um, it's important for us to grab hold of the attitude for gratitude. Um, we'll never forget that my brother Kyle, I love him so much. Um, share it with me about an attitude of gratitude and I have not been the same since. Um, so I appreciate you, Cal, for that. Um, this morning, I'm actually at my second office um, at the school and um, before I start seeing my little ones and having them bless my day, I wanted to bless your day with a piece that I have written. Um, I actually have an ebook that is done, it's been done. But this digital world is so very difficult for me. I had one of my sisters, one of my FIT alumnus sisters to try to help me, but um, couldn't get it to her right. So um, that was a no-go. So if you know anybody out there that won't pull their hair from digital, um, please have them reach out to me because I do have a book sitting there. I also have a, a digital CD that I wanted to record myself reading my poetry so that you can have a two for one. Um, so the ebook the e is very small. It's about maybe about 11 pieces that I picked out. They're all true story um, written by me, inspired by Holy Spirit um, that I want you guys to have. So if you know someone, have them reach out. So fam, this is a piece. Y'all know I'm so sensitive about my stuff, but I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, it's so comfortable here on the floor. I love carpet. Um, so this is a piece um, that I written a few years ago um, and this is a piece that's in the ebook that I wanted to share with you um, inspired by Kat so unique she blessed us um, with the opportunity to hear a piece that she created for her sister so her sister um, had a request and she um, gave us the awesome opportunity to hearing it and and hey cat i thank you for that because it is going to be all right we're going to be all right dope dope song i can't wait until you really put it together for a cd by the way guys i have two of her cds um if you do not have her cds you need to go get them because they're fire the girl is just so dope um very powerful girl um very anointed girl um excuse me young woman you're your husband's girl but she's a young woman she's a queen um and i love her so thank you for that um this morning cat really awesome so because cat said you know we're gonna be all right it's gonna be all right i wanted to share this for anyone who's ever dealt with confusion anger anxiety i have remember these poems are about me um and i want to read that um to kind of tell you how the process go and then at the end that it's gonna be all right we're going to be all right. Okay. So I hope this motivate you. <sighs> Y'all know I don't remember them. So I got to read them. Okay. So here we go. It's called affairs. All right. I had an affair on my peace with anger and caused chaos. The chaos was so bad. It caused me to seek counsel from rage and rage just pushed me into sleeping with confusion. I laid down with confusion and woke up with guilt who brought shame. I tried to plead my case with forgiveness, but fell into depression. Depression felt horrible, but I let pride in the night before. So I gave myself over to perversion. Perversion always felt good while in it, but when it was time to leave, the driver always resembled guilt and shame. I seemed to always get hung over mostly with those two, but they seemed to ride with the crew. Last night was depression and today is distraction. Distraction keeps me cheating with awareness and consciousness. So I settled for a quick lay with bad attitude. Bad attitude appeared to make me feel strong when inside I'm weak, but it kept the others away. But just when I thought it was safe, bad attitude let pride and stubbornness in and you can't tell those two crap anyway. This affair is becoming too much to handle. So I decided to return what was done to me and abandon every spirit that entangled me. I rejected every knock and kick that said they can comfort me. They can comfort my insecurities. I ignored these screams of failure and I chose what was whispered to me. I chose God, Abba, as my savior and he has set me free. 
free from this addiction that threatened my soul, my life, and my spirit. Guess what, guys? No more cheating for me. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, the whole point of that is um, Holy Spirit has shared with me that I was a cheater. And I knew physically I had never cheated. So I, I was kind of confused. Like, what do you mean? And the Holy Spirit said, I gave you fruits of the Spirit. And right now you're taking company with, you know, um, spirits that I didn't give you. So you are constantly having an affair. And I need you to get it together, Roz. And so that is what birth affairs. Um, so if you are that person that is having an affair that's constantly cheating with confusion and depression and anxiety and worry and chaos i am challenging you to quit them to break up with them to disconnect with them just like my girl cat said it's gonna be all right we gonna be all right so i need you to understand that and start bridging the relationship back with the spirits that he's giving you. He's giving you peace and love and joy, you know, and all these different things, um, but not the ones that we struggle with. He has not given us those. So I wanna challenge you to break up the affair, to stop cheating, all right? It's gonna benefit you. It behooves you to quit them. <laughs> Call it quits, disconnect. Okay. Hey guys, I love you. Um, I celebrate with you. I encourage you. Understand it's going to be all right. It is going to be all right. No matter what it looks like, no matter how vicious the storm is, no matter how many times you went five steps forward and was pushed back six steps, you still here. It's going to be all right, guys. All right. So to all my eye shakers um, and all my movers, guys, be encouraged. It's going to be all right. Stay free.